Assalamu alaikum, brother. Thank you for writing to us. I'm sorry to hear about your situation um, with your wife and your, your children, specifically your son. Um, according to you, you've been married for 15 years, and you do have a son and two daughters who are 12 and 9. And you're practicing Muslims, and you perform all of your obligations on time. So the questions that you have in the situation that you're in is kind of confusing because if you say that you are a practicing Muslim, right, and that you love Allah and you obey Allah and you want to please Allah as well as follow in the footsteps of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, in the way of the Sunnah, then I'm having a hard time understanding why you think that the abusive behavior that you have been putting your wife and your son through is kind of like minor. Um, and for, for Allah, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I understand that, you know, there's been a lot going on and you feel that it's not fair and it's not right that you don't have a chance to, to improve yourself and to leave this abusive behavior behind. Sadly, it's much more deeper than that, and it's deeper on not only your part, but your wife and your son as well, because there's a lot of trauma involved. Um, first of all, you stated that you always felt that you were last on her list of priorities and that you always provided everything for the family and did the best that you could. Alhamdulillah. You know, that's that's what you're supposed to do, brother. Um, as a Muslim husband, that is your responsibility. Um, however, you were physically violent with your wife where you tried to choke her. And your son, you've been physically violent with your son. So your wife is a victim of domestic violence and your son is a child who is a victim of child abuse. And that is basically, sadly, where it's at. And I mean, you're not alone in this situation. There's so many families where abuse takes place, right? And yeah, people, women and children, and sometimes men die from abuse. And furthermore, besides the threat of physical um, injury and death, is also the mental, the mental um, trauma and mental health issues that goes along with somebody being abused. Um, so it's a really um, intense situation and it's not that easy to resolve. Um, I do see that you, t you, know, you went for psychotherapy, you went for Islamic counseling, you went to anger management, and you offered to go to the Caring Dad program. Um, however, when you, went, when you got back with your wife after going through all of that, you still had an incident where you lost your temper. And I can imagine that really scared your wife and your son because you have to understand that they've been abused by you, right? So supposedly you've gone through all this therapy, but when you came back, it was still the same. Now granted, you stated that you didn't actually hit him, but you raised your voice and it must have really scared them uh, because at that point um, you had to move out and her, your, your wife's family asked you to move out, which you did. Alhamdulillah. And so, like, your, your wife's family intervening, and that's pretty, it's, it's, it's common. You know what I'm saying? If, if families are close and they have a daughter and she's being, she's being abused or was being abused or the children are, you know, that's, that's one of their rights, um, is to protect them. You know, actually, you're supposed to protect them, but 
you are the one that they have to protect their daughter and their grandson from, which is really sad. And I don't know what else is available um, for counseling for you because it seems like you've, you've gone through a lot of counseling. And so I would kindly suggest, dear brother, that you look deep down inside of yourself, right? Pray to Allah, make dua that he guide you and help you to understand what is, what is, you know, what is causing you to reach these levels of anger? What is causing you to feel like you want to be violent with the ones that you love the most? Is it something in your childhood? Is it a learned behavior? Um, were you traumatized by abuse as a child? Um, there's a lot of different reasons, but since you've already gone through a lot of therapy and counseling and anger management, um, it didn't really seem to help that much. And so I, I, I ask you to please pray to Allah for guidance and, and really go inside of yourself and see if you can think um, of why you know you are this way. And it's really sad, you know, it's a sad situation. Um, perhaps journaling, you know, uh, about your feelings, about your childhood, growing up, becoming a young man, and your expectations, and anything you went through. Um, things of that nature can help, you know, uncover why you feel this anger and why you feel like you need to be violent with others, especially your family. Um, and I do highly suggest that, you know, you go to another counselor, um, perhaps on a weekly basis while you're doing the journaling, if you choose to do it, inshallah. And just, you know, for some feedback and some guidance while, while you're trying to figure this out. <clears throat> so regarding your other issue, um, you do say that you're back home now but your wife doesn't eat with you and you have separate beds and she doesn't even look at you. And there's a family member staying with you to make sure that, you know, she and the children, your son doesn't get hurt. And brother, you really can't blame them for that because they want to ensure that nothing happens to, you know, to their, their daughter and their, and their grandson, you know? Um, I mean, and I know in your heart, you don't want to hurt them, but for some reason you, you cannot stop yourself. And so they're there to make sure that, you know, your wife and your son are safe. And for that, I would be thanking a law for rather than feeling like, you know, it's a negative thing. It's very, it's a, it's a positive thing. It really is. It's a good thing. Because actually if her family member wasn't there, I mean, maybe you would act out more than what you have been or feel that you have, you know, um, no witnesses or nobody around to say or interfere. And you may have, you may hurt them and you may hurt them to a point brother where there's no going back. You know, you may actually, you know, kill one of them and that would be horrendous. That would be, ha that was something you'd have to live with the rest of your life. And I'm sure you don't want to get to that point. Right. So I would, you know, be thanking the law that, you know, one of her family uh, members is there since you are still in the house. And since the, the issue that you have is not resolved yet. So, yes, I can understand that your wife loves you very much and, and I'm sure she does. And I know you love her, but there's this problem of violence. There's this problem of domestic violence and child abuse going on. And really, when you get down to the core of it, love is not abuse. Love is not oppression. Love is not choking someone or hitting someone. You know what I'm saying? It's like, can you imagine like choking or stabbing or hitting your own mother? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you can't. I'm sure that if somebody did that to your mom, you would be, you know, in a rage. Um, so it's the same type of situation. When you love somebody, you don't treat them that way. So perhaps the definition of love needs to be revised in the situation. So 
your questions. I'm going to try to do the best I can, inshallah. And I kindly suggest, brother, um, that for some of these questions that you contact our section, um, Ask the Scholar, and you might you will probably get a more Islamic answer if that's what um, you are seeking at this point. So, is this a fair reason for divorce? Yes, domestic violence and child abuse is most definitely a fair reason for divorce. And you stated that you have not done any counseling or mediation together, and all decisions are made by her family. Well, there's no point in going for counseling or mediation together because you have not changed your behavior or your thought patterns regarding violence and anger, right? You've gone through counseling and programs and this and that, but really nothing has changed all that much. So there's no point in going for joint counseling until you have healed, okay? Um, it's, it's like, you know, it'll be like going around in circles. And until you heal and until you change, um, count, joint counseling and mediation is you know, useless at this point. And you want to know about, you know, divorce. You know, it, being that you still love each other and care for each other, is divorce still an option? Yes, of course it is. Um, in fact, your wife can file divorce. She doesn't need your permission. She's being abused, and so is her, your all child is being abused. So, you know, especially for the safety of her and especially for the safety of the child, yes, she is able to divorce, and it is hurting her right to divorce. And you want to know if you can ask for a period of separation. You can ask for that. However, the question will be to you, what are you going to do during this period? How are you going to change things? How are you going to become the man and the husband that, you know, Allah has created you to be? So, it seems like you have left before and came back and you've gone through various programs and, I mean, there's, I don't know what else you're, you can you can do at this point except for go for counseling again and pray to Allah, get closer to Allah, ask Allah to you know reveal what is what is making you this way and to heal you from it and to to help change you into a strong, loving, gentle Muslim husband. So during that period, if there, if there was a separation, inshallah. Possibly those are a few of the things that you could do that are different from what you've already tried. Is your wife oppressed? Yes, your wife is being oppressed, and so is your child. Oppression is, you know, is, is violence. It's violent. It's, it's despicable to a law. And also, you have to remember, brother, that even even if you don't lay a hand on her or your son, even raising your voice and acting angry and in and, and, and a rage is traumatizing to her and your son because they fear that you may do something. And that in itself is oppression as well because of the past. So yes, she can demand, you know, a divorce and an Islamic one. Brother, I know that you love your family and I'm so sorry the situation is the way that it is. And I know you're trying to do everything to change yourself and you're begging a lot to forgive you and give you a chance. And I really respect that. I do. I truly respect that. And I truly believe you when you say that you do love your wife. However, there's something else that is that is driving you towards rage and violence. 
and it is in the best interest of your wife and your child that you don't live with them unless or until you can find out what is driving you towards violence and abuse and rectify it. I don't know, you know, how long that takes. It's different for every person. It's not a, a fast process. I do know that. I know that men who go into the programs, they're in programs possibly, you know, for, you know, six months, sometimes a year. Um, but to really get to the root of the matter and to really understand yourself and why you're doing this is going to be the key. And if not just for your, your family, but for yourself personally, because you're suffering as well and you're hurting as well. And based on a lot of research studies, you know, men who abuse women and their, their wives and children or others, I mean, men who abuse were abused in a lot of cases. So, brother, I ask you to please take this to a law, as you have been doing. Re-engage in counseling. Try to get to the root of your problem. And, and just pray for a healing. But at this point, if you do love your wife and child, like you say, they are much safer if you are out of the home and getting the help that you need. I know this is not what you want to hear, but if I told you anything different, it would not be fair to you, nor would it be safe for your, your wife or your child. And I know you love them very much, right? So you wouldn't want to hear anything that was, that was false or was accusatory. I'm just, I'm just being real with you. If you love them as much as you say you do, you will separate yourself from the situation until you have resolved whatever it is deep down inside of you that is causing you to, to react with such rage and violence. And, and please continue to ask Allah for help, and he will help you, inshallah. We wish you the best, brother.